Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, many members of this honor honorable body have led at the local level. They know that rarely, if ever, does the citizen attend specially called meetings to discuss local government, economic assistance fund grants, or municipal road aid money. A requirement to hold special meetings solely for that purpose creates an administrative burden for our local governments and does not improve transparency or communication if no one attends. House Bill 399 offers common sense solutions to deal with that issue, as well as current cumbersome audit requirements for smaller cities with no long-term debt. The measure requires cities to allow public comment about local government economic assistance fund grants and municipal road aid money at its meetings, instead of requiring the city to hold a special hearing solely for those projects. This allows people to comment at a time that may be more convenient for citizens when they can address several issues simultaneously and in a meeting that is typically more frequently attended by citizens such as a council or a commission meeting. Mr. Speaker, will the clerk please report House Committee Substitute 1. Clerk, please report. House Committee Substitute 1 to House Bill 399. General from Russell. House Committee Substitute 1 simply adds reference to statute that addresses the local government providing public notice of an opportunity to comment on those state funded projects in advance of the public meeting. Mr. Speaker, I move for adoption of House Committee Substitute 1. Motion is for the adoption of House Committee Substitute 1. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, those in favor signify by voting aye. Those opposed nay. House Committee Substitute 1 is adopted. General from Russell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. House Bill 399 also addresses municipal audits. Currently, the state exempts from the annual audit requirements any city that has no long-term debt and receives an expense less than $75,000 a year. Currently, that, there's around 30 cities that fall under this current exemption. House Bill 399 raises that audit, audit exemption to $150,000, which will cover another 27 cities. We're also adding a new requirement for accountability by requiring an attestation engagement to be performed by an independent auditor if the city claims an audit exemption for four consecutive years. This is the first time we have changed this exemption level since 1996, so 26 years ago, and it's long overdue. Many small cities report problems when finding an auditor to conduct their annual audit on the current timetable, and House Bill 399 will help free up auditors to focus on cities that receive and spend considerably more money. Mr. Speaker, those are the details of the bill, and I move for passage of House Bill 399 as amended by House Committee Substitute 1.